The 2023 Isuzu D-Max. Fantastic SUV. In-depth review. Hey guys, welcome to our channel Latest Luxury Cars. And today we are going to review this latest luxury car. The 2023 Isuzu D-Max. Here we go. Isuzu Ute has refreshed its well-regarded D-Max for the 2023 model year. Nothing revolutionary, but possibly enough to keep it in the spotlight alongside the all-new Ford Ranger. The My23 update adds more D-Max SX workhorse choices. Modifications to the driver support systems with toweling in mind. Modest visual changes outside and inside. And new features like as tailgate help with gas struts. The D-Max LSU Plus we are driving today is one rung behind the range-topping X-Terrain show pony and, in my opinion, is the best of the bunch. Consider it the variation for people who want all the mod cons, but not the obvious body kit that identifies the X-Terrain and, in my opinion, decreases practicality. Since the local late 2020 introduction, over 50,000 current-generation Isuzu D-Maxes have made their way into Australian homes, a statistic that could have been greater if not for persistent shortages, which continue to be an issue for the Mi-23 model. It's a consistent top three performer, trailing only the Ford Ranger and Toyota Hilux. This is the most substantial change to the Isuzu D-Max line since its launch with each model set to receive a bolder design appeal, additional amenities, and three new models introduced providing consumers more choice, says Hiroyasu Sato, Managing Director of Asuzu Ute Australia. What happens when it's time to upgrade an existing strong product? The 2023 Asuzu D-Max faces a difficult problem, therefore. The Japanese automaker has chosen for minor changes rather than major changes. It returns to the popular dual-cab Ute sector, which saw the introduction of the all-new Ford Ranger in 2022. With updates to one of our drive car of the year best, dual cab ute picks. 2023 is building up to be an exciting year for dual cab ute racing, engine transmission, and fuel management. While the entry level 1.9 liter diesel engine is now available across more 2023 Isuzu D Max versions, the higher series D Max utes, as well as the ute based MUX Big SUV, continue to be powered by the Euro 5 emissions compliant 3.0-liter four-cylinder turbo diesel. Outputs remain unchanged, 140 kilowatt at 3,600 RPM and 450 Nm at 1,600 to 2,600 RPM. But that's not such a bad thing unless you're towing a big van. With enough grunt available at lower revs for general around-town work and easy highway cruising, while the six-speed automatic shifts obediently and smoothly in everyday traffic while never loud. The x Ute has a touch more tussle clatter, especially at higher rumpium, than the 2023 MUX LST wagon we drove back-to-back -back at the media debut. The claimed combined cycle fuel consumption for the 2023 Asuzu DMX x Terrain is 8.0 liters per 100 kilometers which translates to a reasonable touring range of roughly 950 kilometers from the 76-liter fuel tank. In practice, expect a value closer to 9 to 10 liters per 100 kilometers, with the figure increasing proportionally as the onboard load grows or while pulling a trailer. We didn't get to tow a caravan this time, but we know the DMX X Terrain is one of the most fuel-efficient dual cab utes averaging 15.5 liters per 100 kilometers while towing a 2,615 kilograms trailer in a prior test. For the 2023 D-Max, all engines will be carried over. You may choose between the 1.9 RS4 E Blue Power Turbo Diesel and the 3.0 liter Blue Power Turbo Diesel. The transmission options remain unchanged as six-speed manual or a six-speed automatic. It lacks full-time 4WD, instead operating as a rear-wheel drive on asphalt and enabling low and high-range 44 driving modes in the rough terrain. Although our test vehicle's road bias tires are not as grippy as some, and the traction control system took a little slow to activate on a lighter-duty trail test, it's capable off the beaten path. It's up there for the class in terms of dynamic performance, 
smoothing out road and gravel irregularities nicely. With strong noise suppression and a rather settled tub, owing to its comfort-biased leaf springs. Another fantastic feature is its electric power steering, which is feather light and helps the D-Max seem maneuverable around town. Isuzu reports that the 3.0-liter automatic spec D-Max burns 8.0 liters per 100 kilometers on the highway and 9.8 liters per 100 kilometers in town. While we didn't acquire a fuel reading during our launch drive, previous experience has shown us that you can expect to consume 8.7 liters per 100 kilometers in a mixed mode. Safety measures. Isuzu received a complete five-star and CAP safety certification for the first time with the current generation D-MAX in 2020. This new 2023 makeover received the same grade after ANCAP updated their ratings in September 2022. It received an 86% adult occupant protection score, an 89% child occupant protection score, and a 69% vulnerable road user protection score. The D Suspension Max absorbs much of the energy from major road hits such as speed humps and railroad rails. Although, when rolling over with the rear axle, the back end might buck, especially if the tub is empty. It does tend to hop about over minor road irregularities and road junctions. At the start, Isuzu took us to the wide beaches of Noosa's North Shore to observe how the part-time four-wheel drive system handled more difficult terrain, though it was not much of a challenge. Previous D-Max experience have been positive. There is a locking differential, but no selectable driving modes. The third-generation 2023 Isuzu D-Max in dual cab 4x4 form comes standard with an impressive safety package that includes eight airbags, adaptive cruise control, autonomous emergency braking, post-collision braking, lane departure warning, lane keep assist, blind spot monitoring, and a reversing camera with front and rear parking sensors. Isuzu continues to fine-tune the calibration and settings of its lane assist systems in response to early complaints that they were excessively sensitive and obtrusive at times. Following the installation of a steering wheel-mounted lane support system shortcut button in the 2021 update, Isuzu has now introduced a function that disables the blind spot monitoring and rear cross-traffic alert systems, while a trailer is connected to the real towel bar. The top-spec DMX X Terrain Dual Cab Ute also has a tire pressure monitor as standard, which is a useful addition, making it easier for folks who don't routinely visit the gym to open and close the substantial tailgate. There is no 12V outlet in the tub, unlike some of its competitors, but there are a handful of tie-down places to secure your stuff. Interior and Exterior Features there are differences within the 2023 D cabin. Max, but you will have to dig hard to find them. Train enthusiasts will note a redesigned seating pattern with a revised stitching pattern on the upholstery. Although the red stitching remains to indicate an X terrain model grade, backseat passengers continue to have plenty of room, especially for taller people, with enough head and legroom. An additional USB A port has been added to the SX Dual Cab grade for 2023 immediately above the pre-existing air vents, although eagle-eyed aficionados will notice the revised leather-accented front seats with sporty red stitching. The inside of the 2023 Asuzu DMX X Terrain remains untouched, which is typically a good thing. Aside from a few gleaming, harsh plastics, there are plenty of comfort and convenience features for a hard-working ute, such as soft-touch surfaces and practical storage areas like the wide side pockets for large water bottles and the convenient top of the dash cubby. The top spec D-Max lacks the electronic part brake seen in the MUX wagon, but there's not much to complain about in terms of ergonomics. The second row seats are slightly tighter than in the MUX wagon, with no reclining backrest for a mid-trip nap. However, there is adequate space for three persons, as well as specialized air conditioning vents and a solitary USB port. We still have mixed feelings about the X-Hard Terrain's ton of roller cover, which may be difficult to operate and has been subject to a product recall. The new gas strut assistance for the tailgate, on the other hand, is a welcome feature for a lifestyle ute, and it matches some of its competitors with comparable one-hand-operated tailgates. Now you have reached till end, so I am sure you like the video. 
For more updates, stay tuned and subscribe our channel latest luxury cars.